Hey Libra, it's Empress Rose here. We're going to do a quick little reading, but it is so exciting. Welcome to your season. The sun is in Libra. Uh, the moon is in Libra. We are about to have a new moon in Libra and an eclipse in Libra during the new moon, of course. So it's all very exciting Libra activity. And a year ago, Libra was having some excitement too in the sign of Libra. We all had another eclipse. Um, on my birthday actually last year so it felt very special so uh cutting the deck here we're gonna start we're just gonna read cards one by one a little bit of a story here first card out four of pentacles security lockdown we have, we have this sense of security we're clinging to something clinging to something that is clinging to uh but also just like safety and security is paramount in your mind right now. Wanting to feel safe, wanting to be safe, not taking any risks, avoiding all risks is what that this energy is. No risks were taken. Uh, we have four locks. We have a fence. We have a chain. We have, and also we're clinging. So there's a very clingy energy, no risk taking You've been playing something really, really safe here. Sometimes there are really good reasons to play things safe um, and to keep things to yourself, uh, to save, to save your money, to save your energy. Um, there's sort of a... Nobody comes in or out kind of vibe. A uh, little bit of a lockdown here. So... Um, then we've got seven of swords. Wow. But we're going to sneak out. Maybe we have been, maybe we got put on a time out or something. And it seems like you're, you're, um, what do you call that? You're grounded. seems like you're grounded, but you're going to sneak out. Being very quiet though. Like, and maybe there's a need for security here and you're being super quiet, secretive, still getting what you want but non-confrontational. Yeah, there's this like avoid, it's safer to just avoid confrontation here is where you, is where these two cards coming out. The sense of safety is in avoiding confrontation right now. At least that's how you're feeling and that's what's going on is we're just gonna avoid confrontation. Maybe you don't have the spoons to deal with confrontation right now, although it might need to happen. Um, and just like, no, I'm actually gonna lock my doors and I'm gonna shut you out and I'm just gonna, so there's like silence, there's safety, security, silence, keeping the secrets, um, getting what you want without being confrontational, without talking about it, without, um, and the Seven of Swords was in the general reading I just posted too, as far as your to-do list. So there's a sense of just keeping everything very much on the down low, moving in silence. So you're sort of like, shoop, no communication here. And I am going to keep moving. I'm going to get what I want, but I'm going to be really, really quiet about it. I'm not going to tell anybody about it. I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm just going to move in silence. And then we have Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh, more silence, more secretive energy. Seven of Swords is also being very clever. They're getting their needs, needs met in a very clever way. So um, maybe the Seven of Swords is somebody else. And that's why we're on lockdown over here is because we know that there is something sneaky going on. Sneaky behavior. Queen of Cups were keeping, again, keeping it to yourself. I think like in case I didn't get the keeping it to yourself message with the Seven of Swords, I'm keeping it, I'm getting it with Queen of Cups. It's just zip, zip. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything. Just, I'm like, yeah, don't say anything at all. Don't say anything. Uh, but you're, it doesn't mean you're not having feelings, big feelings. This is like our journaling card, clammed up. We're clammed up. The Queen of Cups, the Queens tend to be very introvert energy, internal energy. Um, think of like the home and sort of somewhat traditional ideas, uh, Western ideas of women in the home. Well, actually, Throughout several cultures, I'm thinking uh, the the many cultures have women at the home, um, so it's just like in home, quiet lockdown in home kind of space here. But we're not broadcasting anything. We're not telling other people how we feel. 
maybe not telling nobody, but in this situation, we're not telling people how we feel. Yeah, we're on lockdown. We're still getting our needs met. We're not being public. There's nothing public about this at all. This is like zip it, keep it to yourself, not feel all you want, journal it out, but keep it to yourself. This is highly, this is top secret. This is top secret. What is on this table? Um, five of wands and why? Because it might be a very competitive environment. It's strategic. Again, seven of swords and five of wands are both very strategic cards. They're putting strategy over confrontation. They're putting strategy. The fight is mental. The battle is mental. There's no external situation here. There's some sort of strategy is absolutely crucial here. Wow. Libra. I don't know what's going on here, but strategy is very, very important. There's somewhat of a battle and a competition for resources, and you need to be extremely strategic about what you're doing. Again, there's like this whole quiet. She's the only one really with her eyes open, and she sees something and knows something and is sort of very protective and of it very protective of what she sees and what she knows either that or she sees and she sees danger she sees danger and so she's double locking her door she's taking care of this something has got her attention and has got her on high alert and she's being very overprotective of something the rest of these are very focused almost a myopic focus on something very nearby they have a very clear focus. They're focused on how they feel. They're focused on what they think. They are not talking. They are making very strategic moves silently. I can't express to you how top secret, silent, and strategic this reading is so far. It is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> These cards are all, I can't imagine what's coming out next, but let's see. Nine of Wands. Oh, but you're tired of it. You're tired of strategizing it's gonna be exhaust there's something a little bit exhausting can you keep this up can you keep going like this what is so exhausting the nine of wands you're not done yet as of the end of this reading you don't this process just keeps going on and keep being silent keep being strategic keep doing it you may get sick of it it may test your patience maybe you're like me, a little bit of a, I got to talk things through. You might get really sick of it. You, you're just tired of something. This gets old after a while, having to be strategic and silent and quiet and on guard. I mean, you're going to keep doing it. You got to keep doing it. But it's like, oh, I just want to talk to someone about this. I just want to, ah, but it's not. You're going to have to suffer in silence. <laughs> it's the strategic thing. Um because you know this whole situation that has you on high alert that has you feeling very overprotective it goes on for a minute it's not like and then over oh, sunshine roses woo, yay we did it we made it through this this is like ongoing and it gets old and it's exhausting it's tiring to have to deal with this it's yeah but you're having to lay low be strategic be sneaky and there's a there's a point where you you're gonna get sick of it. You're gonna get tired of it. Okay, I gotta pull one more because this is just wild. Queen of Swords. So, um, okay, eventually someone's gonna have to say something. Queen of Swords. All the other queens are like, oh wow, look, you have seven, five, nine of Wands, five, seven, nine. But eventually someone's going to say something. Queen of Swords is very direct, doesn't really pussyfoot around. Um, someone's going to see something, notice something, and say something. That might be you, but it, it's, it comes after a long time. There's a while here. This goes on for a while. Yeah, it could be that you're, you're seeing someone that wants something that you've got, and you're very much on high alert about that possessive there's very possessive oh yes there is possessive energy here and there's a reason for it there's not this is not like 
I'm just fuming possessive. There's a reason for this. Look at these first three cards. Clinging to the house, clinging to the egg, holding the seahorse. This almost seems like a strategic exchange of possessiveness. Yeah, it goes on for a while though. So anyway, have fun with that. Um, let's pick a feather. Let's end this up. What feather do you think you want to do? Libra, it's your season, it's your moon, it's your eclipse, it's yours. Hummingbird. It's got something to say to me. Does it have something to say to you? Hummingbird. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. New joy is on the way. <laughs> I love this clingy energy. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. New joy is on the way. Well, I wasn't going to get that out of these cards, so I'm glad we pulled this last feather because, boy, you've been really clinging on to something uh, quite a bit. Um, new joy is on the way. Maybe you got to be quiet about the new joy. Maybe it's this egg where you're like, ooh, this is my new idea. This is my new thought. i got to be quiet about it, but. Hummingbird, new joy is on the way. Release what you've been carrying and lighten up. Okay, okay. Well, it's not in the cards that came before. Anyway, hope that that was helpful for you, Libra.